What's going on, everybody? Jeff Holiday here. And today, I wanted to speak with you very briefly about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Now, I have spoken about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. before in the past. Specifically, I have a video in which I detail how his influence on the island nation of Samoa led to a drop in vaccination rates, which also led to the mass death of children from contracting measles. You can see that video in the link down below. But I've also been talking about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. for quite a while. And I have something that I think is very, very relevant to the current happenings. Maybe some of you might have seen this clip. Virtually everything, every statement that you just made about me is inaccurate. I have never advised black Americans not to receive vaccines. At one point you say I'm anti-vax and that's a bad thing. The other thing, the <laughs> other moment you point out that all my children are vax. I vac I'm fully compliant with the vaccine schedule myself, except for COVID. I, I, I took flu vaccines for 20 years straight. I have never been an anti-vax. Now this is from a hearing where Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is speaking to the government and largely, this was in, he was invited by Republicans to speak about uh, the censorship, um, suppression of, of the ability for alternative viewpoints, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But what's fascinating is when he is directly asked about being anti-vax. I have never told any. I have never told the public avoid vaccination. Now, I personally have known that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is anti-vax for a very long time, and in fact, there are there is no other topic that I've made more videos about on this channel than trying to battle against anti-vaxxers. I like to think that at this point, um, I know it pretty well. <laughs> you know, I've kind of made it a little bit of a career uh, as far as YouTube careers go understanding, cataloging, and debunking anti-vaxxers. I, I have an entire series uh, on the biggest anti-vax documentary of all time. So uh, I think I know what I'm talking about. But recently, because Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is running for president, or he's attempting to, this a lot of people have seemed to have checked their skepticism at the door, and they forget that the number one thing about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is that he is an anti-vaxxer. Our job is to resist and to talk about it to everybody. If you're walking down the street, and I do this now myself, which is, you know, I don't want to do it. I'm not a busy body. I see somebody on a hiking trail with a carrying a little baby, and I say, I'm better not get him vaccinated. And he hear that from me. If he hears it from 10 other people, maybe he won't do it. You know, maybe he, maybe he will save that child. And before we were all quiet because we didn't we wanted to get along with our families. We, we, we just take endless flack. If you talk about this issue, people, if you're scared, you're going to get marginalized in your community. That People are going to call you crazy or whatever, but now's the time. Come out of the closet. And now that clip has been shared by quite a few people to show that he has, in fact, told people and advised people not to get vaccines. But what I want to talk to you about today is how he's even more dangerous than that and how there is something that the media and a lot of people who do similar things to me might have missed. And it's not their fault. It's not anybody's fault. It's only because I was at the right place at the right time. You see, back in 2019, I went undercover to a convention called CalJam, California Jam, put on by a wingnut uh, chiropractor by the name of Billy DeMoss. And it attracted my attention because there were so many noted anti-vax speakers there. So I thought that this was going to be something of, of a alternative health chiropractic uh, fan convention, but I was wrong. It was a convention specifically for chiropractors. Like all of the people attending were chiropractors. On closer examination, CalJam is not simply a health convention. It's a trade convention for a specific profession, chiropractors. And while I've had in the past reason to be concerned with the behavior of some chiropractors, nothing notable should have alerted me to this convention in specific until I saw this. Is it possible that the younger you get the MMR vaccination, the greater the risk of autism? 
That is infamous anti-vaxxer Andrew Wakefield giving a keynote speech to thousands of people at CalJAN in 2016. Why was an anti-vaxxer there? Andrew Wakefield is not a chiropractor. On further investigation, it became clear. This is not a random mistake, but a systematic pattern of various guests discussing dangerous and unproven pseudoscience to thousands of people in attendance who claim to be health professionals. Now, in many ways, I think this video of me going undercover is one of my crowning achievements for my channel, right up there with them going on Dr. Phil and blah, blah, blah. Um, but, and, and I really would recommend people check it out because I put a lot of work into that. But one of the things that's really interesting is that I was there when Robert F. Kennedy took the stage. So you have to ask yourself, why is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. going to speak at a chiropractor convention? First of all, he's not a doctor. He's a lawyer. So why, why go to a chiropractor convention? You know, this is for people who practice chiropractic. You know, I, I, it, it seemed very odd to me. Once I realized what this convention was, why would they invite him? Why would they invite a lot of the people who were big superstars of the anti-vax community? People like Polly Tommy from the whole Vaxxed tour, you know? Why are these people there? And so this is what I really want to show you. This is the part of his talk. And by the way, I'm going to have this entire talk. Uh, um, it's going to be a link in the description down below. It's unlisted, but if anybody wants to use it, uh, I, you're free to download it and, and reuse it, distribute it however you want. Uh, just give me some credit, you know, and maybe give me a link back to uh, the CalGem video. That would be great. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it's free for use. Um, the first half of it is, is rather boring, just telling like his um, it, his backstory and how he got into the fight, which is the vaccine fight. And then he says this. We have today the four companies that make all 72 vaccines that are now mandated for American children are all convicted felons. Not only are they convicted felons, they are serial felons. Committing felonies is part of their business plan. All right, so it's no smoking gun. All, all vaccine manufacturers are felons, but that does kind of lend uh, some weight to him condemning vaccine producers, which would mean the producers of all the vaccines. But it gets worse. There's no liability, which is our biggest cost. There's no marketing because it's mandated. No advertising cost. And there's no testing. You don't have to safety test vaccines. What he means by no testing is that they don't do double-blind placebo tests. And we know why we don't do that. And that's because it would be wildly unethical to intentionally put children at risk of lethal diseases when they think that they might be protected. I, like, I, it's not hard to understand why that's, that's a, there, there's a huge problem with that, but <laughs> for some reason, anti-vaxxers don't care because this is a convenient excuse. But really, this is where it really goes off the rails, and this is the point you really have to pay attention. Well, not a single one of the 72 vaccines now mandated for our children has ever been tested against a placebo. Nobody knows what the risks are. Nobody can tell you this product averts more harms and deaths than it causes about any vaccine. Keep in mind, when he says that, he's not saying the COVID vaccine because the COVID vaccine did not exist yet. This is 2019. And he doesn't say which vaccine because he means all of them. But keep listening. If you read their clinical trials data, it's very clear that it's a person, all of them, they are causing more problems than they're averting. Well, now that's interesting. Every single vaccine is causing more problems than they're helping. Interesting. That's very interesting. Now, that's not necessarily saying, you know, uh, that he's advising people directly not to take vaccines. No, nah, no. Nah, that's not exactly what he's saying. He is saying all vaccines are bad and all vaccines are flawed and they don't work right but we need the context, and he's going to give it to us. And in 89, all these vaccines, many of these vaccines suddenly hit this schedule. 
And that year, we get a chronic disease epidemic in our country that we are all living with today. And you people see every day of your lives, you see the fallout from that. You see these children. And this is probably the most nefarious part of it. And this is where the context really matters. Who he's speaking to is an auditorium of around 3,000 people. And every single one of them, except for me, in that audience, was a chiropractor. These are not regular, average, everyday citizens. No, these are people who have gotten a chiropractor degree and are now trusted by their patients to give them health advice. Because if you know anything about chiropractors, very commonly people will go to the chiropractor for all sorts of stuff because they don't trust doctors, which I, you know, I get. That's fair. Don't trust big pharma. Don't trust doctors. I understand that people have that hesitation. I get that. I, trust me, there are lots of reasons to not like big pharma. I'm not a big fan either. But finding a right doctor is important. That aside, these people, these 3,000 people in that auditorium are going to go back to their practices all around the country and all around the world having listened to Robert F. Kennedy Jr. telling them that these problems are being caused by vaccines. So he doesn't have to tell people directly through a podcast or on the street to not get vaccinated. It's much more insidious than that. He's getting doctors to do it. And, and really, to hammer it home, listen to this. And it's with all these other epidemics, the autoimmune diseases like diabetes and rheumatoid arthritis and demyelinating diseases, the food allergies, um, uh, peanut allergies, eczema, asthma, all the allergic diseases, anaphylaxis, and of course the neurodevelopmental diseases, ADD, ADHD, speech and bio language delay, ticks, Tourette's syndrome, narcolepsy, ASD, autism. They all began appearing. They all became epidemic in the 1989. Keep in mind, this was this was stated after this. And the, in 89, all of these vaccines, or many of these vaccines, suddenly hit this schedule. And that year, we get a chronic disease epidemic in our country. Now, again, chiropractors very commonly are being seen by people for things like their food allergies, or, you know, some discomfort, maybe you have inflammation, maybe you have a rash, maybe you have this, maybe you have that. To Robert F. Kennedy Jr., and what he's trying to instill as a knowledge into these chiropractors is that that is, a, that is a side effect of vaccines. The reason why anybody is sick, the reason why any of these things, these chronic illnesses can possibly happen is because of vaccines. Because, you know, in the past, before the advances of medical technology, we were just so healthy, now, just to hammer home my point, I, I, I very much was shocked by this. When I was in this auditorium, this big, big speaking theater, and he got done, I was shook by the thunderous applause, by, by the stomping of feet, and I'm going to show that to you now. Okay. <laughs> So again, one last time, these are people that the other people in their lives that go and pay them money believe are doctors, and they know what they're talking about, and that they can trust them for medical advice, and they go to them for all sorts of different stuff, and they're here at a convention, having paid a very large amount of money to go to listen to noted anti-vaxxers, including Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who explicitly is stating that these problems are all caused by vaccines. Not which vaccine? All vaccines. All of them. So chalk that up as another one uh, for, for really putting on the record, the official record of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. The man should never be anywhere near a position of authority, in my opinion. But uh, you, can, you can make up your own minds on that one. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, sorry there hasn't been a lot of content on this channel aside from the uh, the roundups. I am working my summer job as a motorcycle tour guide, being a badass biker, going across country, good times. 
um, things will probably calm down in about you know, mid-September or so. But uh, thank you very much for your attention. I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you guys uh, on the roundup, and have a great day from my family to yours. Bye-bye.